Leaders will meet on Friday evening, 6.30 at 9 o'clock, and the final is set for 7.30 on Saturday evening. All three games are televised, sorry, all three rounds are televised. Fox, Friday ticket on Thursday, ESPN U on Friday, and ESPN 2 on Saturday. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, congrats on the first team accolades. Just your thoughts on, on what that means to you. Um, thank you, first of all. But I just, it's just, I don't know what to say about it, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm obviously excited about it, but at the same time, I mean, I just kind of look at awards as, I mean, it's a sign of, you know, what you've done in the past. So I'm um, kind of already looking forward to Thursday at 2.30. Simple. <laughs> I like that. Uh, talk about Thursday at 2.30, getting Davis. What do you think about the matchup, and just how excited are you to start the tournament? I'm very excited. I mean, I'm wasn't happy with the way we ended the season last year with um, the loss to Santa Barbara in the semis. <coughs> it's been a long time coming. I mean, 368 days since then, so I've been keeping count of it. But um, just looking forward to them because Davis is a great matchup for us. I mean, they, we match up well with them at every position. So uh, it should be a good game for us to just kind of test the waters for the conference tournament. Talk about the team winning five in a row. You guys are peaking, playing great, pull, finding ways to pull out victories. Your thoughts on how the team is playing right now? It's just a sign of, I mean, the work that we've been putting in all season. You know, we struggled on the road early, but it's a sign of our perseverance and, you know, just staying with it and knowing that we keep working hard and it'll happen for us no matter what time of the season it is, and it just happens to be peaking at the right time. So you've been saying it all season, but does that mean the Olympics are here? I mean, you've been talking about the Olympic trials, but this this is what you've been playing all year. For. Yes, that is, that is exactly what I'm talking about. This is our Olympics. I mean, this is our... World Games right here. This is what it comes down to. So um, it's just time for us to buckle down and you know go out for a goal and a performance. Talk about what having a guy like Coach Calero as your leader, what that's done for you guys in your time here, and hopefully we'll continue to do this week. Uh, it's big for us. I mean, obviously, Coach is a, he's a great coach. Um, first off, but his his sense of urgency is kind of like trickled down to all of us as well, from like him to the assistant coaches to our team, and everybody realizes that. I mean. Now it's win or go home. You know, like there's no more. Okay, well we lose and look at the sky report for the next game. It's you know our sense of urgency has to be higher than his because we we're the ones that are out there playing. Chris, uh, assuming Dylan Roy starts uh, in the game against Davis, he's going to be the only starter from last year's squad uh, against UC Santa Barbara when you guys lost in the tournament. How are you guys approaching knowing that you guys have a lot of inexperience? Uh, at the starting positions and everywhere else going into a big postseason tournament like this? Well, one thing we like to do is um, with the conference season coming about um, just at the beginning of the year, um, everybody kind of moves up a year. And, like our coaching staff's mind is like juniors become seniors, seniors become post-grad basketball players. We have like a weird philosophy about it. But um, we like to look at the inexperience that people think we have. By this point in the season, we've played 29, 30 games. So, I mean, we like to throw that whole inexperience thing out the window and just say, you know what, you're a freshman, but you've played in 29 or 30 college games, so now it's time to step up when we need you. Mm -hmm. well, what did you learn? What can you take away from that loss against Santa Barbara last year? What can you do differently in, in terms of, of that this year? Just go out and play hard. I mean, we didn't shoot the ball particularly well that game, and then it just, I remember it hurt in the locker room afterwards because I didn't just lose six teammates, but I lost six close friends that I would never play with again. So um, just that stuck with me over the past year. So I feel as though, I mean, the rest of the guys will use that as motivation as well. Mm -hmm. When you got injured a, a couple weeks ago, you, you told me, I asked you if you were going to start against Santa Barbara. And you said, no, no, I'm looking big picture. Is this what you're talking about? That yeah, you're trying to uh, <laughs> picture? yeah, that's something I kind of like picked up from my parents. They just say, don't be a you know, microscopic. There's times to be microscopic and there's times to be telescopic. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is definitely a time to be telescopic, <laughs> telescopic. <laughs> um, you talk about sense of urgency and how that's something that Coach Calero has instilled in you guys, but you guys had a tough schedule at the beginning of the year, playing uh, in, in big, against Big 12 opponents, against Pac-12 opponents. Um, how do you maintain sense of urgency with that kind of a schedule at the beginning of the year and maintain a positive outlook on things uh, going into conference, and how has that helped you? Conference. I think it's helped us tremendously because going into the season, I mean, I know we labeled it like the most ambitious, but at the same time, we knew that it's a long season and we had those post, those preseason games, and we had, I want to say, um, 12 preseason games. So 
that's a matter of just understanding, okay, we're going to have our bumps and, you know, bruises here at the beginning of the season, but if you're willing to stick with it and then you work through conference as well, we'll be perfect and right where we need to be going into conference tournament, which is what we're looking at right now. Cool. Thank you, Chris. Thanks. Thank you. Very, very good. Cal Poly program records for Big West victories, Big West winning percentage, uh, Division One home records for.